The U.S. military makes history as North Korea attempts to join the historically small group of nations with the ability to send a nuclear weapon across thousands of miles. An American interceptor missile successfully destroyed an intercontinental ballistic missile today in what could be a dress rehearsal for a North Korean attack on the U.S. West Coast or other U.S. territory. Senior U.S. commanders say this test was long planned, but it clearly sends a message that the U.S. is stepping up efforts to defend the U.S. homeland from threats like North Korea. Chief Correspondent Jonathan Hunt is live at Vandenberg Air Base, Air Force Base in California. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Brett. This was without doubt the most critical test yet of the U.S. missile defense system, with the Pentagon under huge pressure to deliver a successful strike and thus send a powerful message to North Korea or any other nation that might target the United States. The launch of the ground-based interceptor missile was spectacular and deadly serious, testing the first line of U.S. defense should North Korea fire a nuclear weapon at an American city, a capability the Pentagon believes Pyongyang will soon have. In my view, it's a matter of time. Vice Admiral James Searing is the director of the Missile Defense Agency and sat for a rare and exclusive interview with Fox News ahead of the test in which the U.S. is simulating a North Korean attack by launching an unarmed intercontinental ballistic missile from the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean and aiming to take it down with the interceptor launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. It's very difficult. We're talking about intercepting in space at hundreds of miles of altitude with closing velocities of thousands of miles per hour. It's hitting a bullet with a bullet. And the difficulties have been evident in past tests, with the interceptor only hitting its target about half the time. But Admiral Searing insists that technology has improved markedly since the last test in 2014. I'm very confident through tactics and procedures that the system can and will defend the homeland if attacked. Fox News was also given exclusive access to the 49th Missile Defense Battalion at Fort Greeley, Alaska, where 32 of the U.S. total of 36 interceptors are based in these silos. Lieutenant Colonel Timothy Brower is the commanding officer. You've got a nuclear weapon fired heading for L.A. How many of these do you fire to take it down? So the, the tactics, techniques, and procedures, those are classified, but I'll, I'll say we fire more than one. If we're talking about a nuclear warhead headed to L.A., we want to make sure that we get it. Weapons engage the threat to Los Angeles. And that's why the soldiers here work simulated attacks every day of every week. Target to Los Angeles has been successfully intercepted and destroyed. When we're all watching the news and seeing North Korea preparing for a test, you guys are at a very different level here. Absolutely. We are ready to fight tonight. And tonight, as Pentagon officials breathe a huge sigh of relief at this successful intercept test, those missile defense crews are indeed at their stations, ready to do their part and aware that when it comes to a real nuclear attack, they cannot afford to fail even once.